I'll be the first to admit that not all efforts toward equality are created equal. Some people are making misguided and unproductive attempts to solve real problems, while some are using effective means to solve issues so petty they don't even qualify as problems. And gender equality falls prey to that tendency as much as any other movement. For example, a group of female Anglican bishops are calling upon God to get sex reassignment surgery, sort of. What they're actually doing is trying to shift the God pronoun to the feminine. Reverend Jody Stowell explains that according to Orthodox theology, God is both a man and a woman. Quote, so when we only speak of God in a male form, that's actually giving us a deficient understanding of who God is. End quote. So while I'll agree that anybody who fails to answer bullshit does suffer from a deficient understanding of what God is, somehow I don't think miscapitalizing a different pronoun is going to do much to weed out the sexism of an institution that still reveres a book that puts a dollar price on rape victims and discourages female audibility. But nice try though, ladies. Those windmills are probably just about to give up. But when it comes to insanely counterproductive applications of the principle of equality, I may have the quintessential example in this next story out of Turkey. According to what seems by every measure to be a legitimate Turkish news site, a woman in the city of Ankara has been ordered by a court to pay a fine after injuring her husband during a domestic dispute. Now, to be fair, the husband was also fined. And if she didn't want to pay a court penalty, she should have thought about that before she fucked his fist all up with her face and stomach. That's right. According to the court itself, the injury the man suffered was a swollen fist from hitting her so much. That and some scratches on his chest. So I guess the only silver lining here, if you're a battered wife in Turkey, is that you basically have a green light to cut his nuts off or something. You know, since you're going to get in trouble either way. And finally tonight, I wanted to give a quick update on a story we covered last week. You'll recall a news item about a group of Jews that were expelling kids from school if their mothers drove cars. Yeah, how could you forget that one, right? Well, as it turns out, the UK isn't Saudi Arabia, and that shit ain't legal. The UK's Equality and Human Rights Commission informed the ultra-Orthodox sect of the fact in a letter that described the practice as, quote, unlawful and discriminatory, end quote. And while the best part of this story is definitely the tiny nudge away from full subjugation that the state offered to women in this community, I can't help but linger on the fact that the chair of the commission that sent these misogynistic assholes the order telling them they couldn't do that anymore was a woman. And while I didn't see a copy of the letter itself posted online anywhere, I really hope she ended up by telling them, don't make me drive over there and tell you in person. Biatch. Anyway, that does it for the segment this week, but before I sign off, I want to ask a quick favor of anyone who wants to send another email about how this show is too feminist. By all means, if that's your opinion, keep the emails coming, but do us the favor of defending that argument with the references to stuff that we actually talked about in the show, rather than stuff you heard some feminists say one time. Thanks. And with that, I'll hand things back over to Noah and Heath.